Hey, Arthur. Let's go, boy. Okay, fella. Oh, you're back? Bored. Bored's good. Morning, Arthur. Bored means you ain't scared. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... I don't know. I used to dream a lot. We all dreamt a lot. Then we grew into women. Saw what the world was for us. How little it values us. Cheer up. Hey, 
Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, eh? Susan. Hey there. Look at all that meat. Well done. Please don't hurt me. How's it going? Not too bad. All right, this one. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Marston. Mm. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Appreciate it, Pearson. Morning. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Good morning, Arthur. You know, all this, it used to feel like one big party. How wrong I was. It's not all so bad. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Yeah. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. 
Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Come on, he's not that bad. All the time. Okay, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Darn people. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I sure you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
Right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Hold! All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So... What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Micah, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. <clears throat> Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> <gasps> You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the... Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay. Let's go. Come on, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. 
I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. on the ground just here there's shit here watch your step looks real fresh reckon he's got to be close let's keep going damn it looks like the trail ends here we lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
Now we wait. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. What do you have here? Got your knife? Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Soon enough, or we are going to have a revolution on our hands. Mom. 
morning, Arthur. Mer Beth. How are you? 